Our friend and Adirondack naturalist Mark Frazier loves this time of year when the beautiful colors of fall fade with the arrival of winter. And despite the mild weather we've been having, this is a time of year when wildlife that calls the Adirondack wilderness home begins to prepare for the winter ahead. Survival in the wintertime actually takes place long before the snow comes. It's about preparation. Barred owls will take advantage of a tree cavity. This provides safety and no worries, the parents are certainly gonna be nearby. Now the caloric intake that each animal gets before wintertime is critical. Think of this pileated woodpecker. Now they've evolved to take advantage of the protein rich insects. The problem is those insects are actually hidden within the bark of the tree. But that's not a problem for the pileated. They can actually just peel that bark back and get to that great meal. That helps them give them the calories that they need to survive. They generally go after dead trees that are actually occupied by carpenter ants, and that's probably their most favorite insect of all. Even during harsh winter conditions, insects still reside in that bark. This means that they don't need to migrate so they can survive the entire winter. Now that's a fantastic survival evolution. But when it comes to adaptability, just imagine the porcupine. Now they're herbivores and they've evolved a completely different lifestyle. In fact, they don't need to hibernate at all during the winter. They just slow down and sleep a lot and constantly eat. You see, their food is the branches on the trees in the wintertime and they can get to that no matter what time of year it is. Now, if you look very carefully at the porcupine's teeth, you'll see an orange hue. That's very similar to what you see in beavers. That occurs naturally from all the tannin in the wood that they're ingesting. They're scraping it with those teeth. Now, the teeth have a harder outer shell and then a different softer inner material. This protects the teeth through their lifetime. Their teeth do grow their entire life and they have to since all the wear and tear they get by chewing wood. So the type of food allows them to survive the winter, but what about predators? What do they do? Certainly when they raise their young, they find a den. Now incredibly, under these boulders, I noticed a green tarp. It must have been that somebody had left some garbage behind. But inside, I heard some noise. Carefully, I moved closer with the camera and I was amazed at what I found. This is a newborn puppy of a koi wolf, a coyote wolf hybrid that lives in our forest. And it is adorable. The parent must have been moving the puppies. Either this is the first to arrive at this new den location or the last one to be moved. Once I realized there was a puppy in this den, I was careful not to touch anything. This is actually zoomed with my camera. One thing I don't want to do is disturb this beautiful little pup. Though it's certainly cold outside, the winter is truly the most beautiful season. There are so many incredible things to see. Predators are an indicator species. They speak to the health of the entire ecosystem. There needs to be enough food for predators to survive or they wouldn't be there. Their families form emotional bonds just like human families. Anyone who has a dog knows exactly what I'm referring to. And their intelligence is incredible. Speaking of which, crows and ravens, they are brilliant. And you know, they truly love the wintertime. In fact, they often are seen playing in it. Each year during the winter season, they develop thicker, stronger feathers, new growth. Now mammals do the same thing. As a matter of fact, deer have a summer and a winter coat. And the winter coat, like you see here, is a very lush, thick coat. Another example of amazing winter survival.